What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. So we got Curse of Brynfield, number four. And as we saw, number three, our heroes, Joe and his sister Annie, are in a dark place right now. Joe destroyed his hometown, his father is dead, and now it's just the two of them. And so they've made it a mission to find the salesman and stop whatever he's doing and maybe find a way to reverse the curse on Joe. But we're seeing that's not going to be simple as we dive into this book. So the artwork has changed. So pretty much we're in a city in Pennsylvania. Man's running. We see something. He's being chased. And then we see this gray splash page of this beast right here. Another one of the uh, workers of the salesman, apparently. We see the Curse of Brimstone, all that remains. Um, Eduardo... Pansica seems to be the artist here, and I uh, like his art. It's very well done. So, it's like, I'm sorry. We meant for it, we meant it for the best. We so and obviously this guy kills him. So, meanwhile on the road, they find a fantastic. Like they find they're in a new ride, and we just see brother and sister, um, working together. It's like. And while she is driving, they're driving a new car, and she's busy deciphering the ledger from the salesman right here. It says, and you think we can, and they're looking to save um, another city. And it's like, I think we need to find the salesman, make him lift the curse, and yeah, if we can't stop another town from being destroyed, that'd be great. If you can stop someone like me from destroying it, this town. And her sister, and his sister's like, you didn't destroy your kills, you didn't kill dad. They have a little silence here. And they find the city. It's like, we're here. It's like, are you sure? Because not to criticize your magic book reading skills, but uh, there isn't any here. I was like, are you sure the GPS didn't mess things up? It never could find our house. And if anything, this is even more out in the booties. And she's looking and saying, no, the GPS is right. And it's like, the damn ledger, the town should be here. This is right. And you see a new guy come up with a shotgun. It's like, it most certainly is, and then Joe's getting ready to morph into Brimstone, and he's like, you should listen to your sister. It's like, I don't know exactly what you turn into, but I know I can pull this trigger a lot faster than you can change into whatever the salesman made you into. So, he seems to know about the salesman. Say like, yes, I indeed know. He's like, okay, let's calm down. I won't turn into him, and you won't shoot, and we'll call we can all talk about where you got that ledger, Okay. So, uh, so this man's name is Enoch, and they just want to know. And Enoch says, someone very much like you, Joe, from someplace very much like this, or suppose this, or I suppose I should say, I used to be like you. It left its mark. In places like this, or near one of the salesman's creations, I can steal their power and use it. It's like, and he's like saying, you made a deal? It's like, yeah, before I broke it. And they say, like, and you broke it? Not exactly. I think I can probably dispense with the gun. So he just like this. How did you break the curse? It's like the curse can't be broken. But before you ask, I'm not one of the salesmen's call them agents anymore. And so Joe's like, okay, well, let's just listen to what he has to say. He's like, can you feel it? Yes. It's like, feel what? So we see that um, corruption, this place is tainted, scarred. The sacred, the salesman is just an appendage. Imagine sticking your finger in this water. It's like, it's like, to the fish it would look like five worms, but these aren't worms, they're all exceptions of something bigger. Just one thing that looks like many. This is what the salesman is, so this thing has been corrupted, and we see that this fish has been corrupted. And it looks like we get backstory of how the salesman right here comes from the same universe as uh, the Batman who laughs. Basically where our heroes become monsters, and it's like, but they can't last. It's like, except they can't. Not with this world as it is. There's something close to the forces of nature. So, and basically, I wouldn't be surprised if the Batman Who Laughs has something to do with the salesman. I get the feeling that they're going to make the Batman Who Laughs a big entity. So, basically, hold on. Let me get into some better light. Ugh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, much better. Oh, sorry about that. So we see that um, basically they come here and 
and everything like that. So they come and basically make the place more hospitable to become like, can become like the dark world of the dark nights. Think of it as a slower burn, so to speak. So basically explains to them that um, it's like every time you become brimstone, it's like you change, you get a little more of their power into the world. The salesman doesn't care if you come after him. He wins when you fight him. So what you so, so what you think we should just stop because i could tell you even if we did trust you and i don't even kind of trust you we aren't stopping it's like i didn't i don't think of it like a fi think of it like a fire break maybe your power makes the world worse it's still better than what happened to these towns the salesman doesn't think that way that's why he doesn't care that you have his ledger or his car he thinks the more you pursue, the closer he gets to being able to bring those he works for over. So I still think that he might work for the bad man he has. We don't know. And so he just says, he's underestimating us, just like everyone in my whole life has. He's like, why should we trust you? You could be just another piece of him, piece of him, of them. I could show you the way you could use the ledger as a guide, but it shows you what it wants to. Like the salesman, it can't lie. But that doesn't mean it tells you the truth either. It's still useful if you're willing to make sacrifices. So basically, he drops his blood, and it allows him to basically work the ledger. It's like, so it's like, so they're still out there. The agent that did this in the town, what's left of them? I know you don't feel it like now, but you got lucky. You're still a person. That's not what lies at the end of the road for agents. You get hollowed out by the power until there's nothing left but a spark of a person, less than a ghost so but dangerous so basically we see um, we basically see that um, this thing is still this thing this monster is still attacking people he goes after a family and then brimstone comes in and punches him out bang saves the family and basically um He's basically saying that, you know, we need to get my... He said, you need to save my family. So Annie and Enoch go in to help the family out. And while Brimstone is so far, he's saying, you're enjoying this. Whatever is left of you in there, I'll just have to try to enjoy it even more. So he becomes a different person when he's Brimstone, of course. And Annie's asking, like, you need to help this man now? It's like, I'm out of the helping business, Enoch. So the monster is beating um, Brimstone right here. Sake. Like, Jersey, what the hell do you even, what the hell do you even do, Enoch? Are you just gonna watch? No, I'm here to kill. Come on, Elijah, give me enough juice to finally stop you. Damn, you're planning on getting back in this fight. Are you? Damn, he's saying like, yes. So basically, Brimstone gets back in it. It's like, there we go now. It's like time for time, time. This fight's mine to end. Can't, can't hold it. And then basically he said. I'm sure I told you to run. Like, and this woman's not going to leave her husband. So basically, you know, some nice um, stuff like this. He said there's almost nothing human left in you. Let's like, let's see. So he just basically goes in here and rips out this man's skull with his vertebrae. And the monster's defeated. So I was like, I'm sorry, Elijah. I need this to end. I cannot do what they did to you, brother. But I can give you peace. I'm sorry for this, too, but this is mercy. Jesse, what? This is what will happen to you, Joe. Nothing left but a monster. I know you can feel it already, so that's why you just collapse now. And, it's like, and he just does something. To Joe, apparently. And he's about to, I think he was going to try to kill him. Then his sister's like, say, has a shotgun ready to take him down. He's like, okay. It's like, you're making a mistake. The same one I made. The curse... So it can't be broken. It has to go to someone. That's the trick, isn't it? It can't be saved from damnation. You are the only one to. You can. You, are the, you can only make yourself further damned. Can't undo what the salesman has done. Neither can he. Neither can you. And it's like I don't believe it. It's like I can't. Then of course he disappears. It's like gone. Some kind of trick. His power, I guess. So we're alone. It's like no, we're together. So brother and sister, keeping on doing it. Like I said, I really like this series. You know, um, I think it's an underrated series. I think people should definitely look at this. Definitely one of the hidden gems in the a New Age of Heroes. Give this an 8 out of 10. 
So thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people. So I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Uh, thank y'all for watching. I should have more videos up later today.